Welcome to 1818 Farms. I'm the owner, Natasha McCrary, and I'm so excited you guys are joining us today. I have an exciting plant that I want to tell you guys about. For years, I've been wanting to try the Sunfinity Sunflowers by Syngenta. And for those of you out there, a lot of times as a flower farmer, what we grow is called a pro cut, and it's one cut. So we plant them tightly. The sunflower begins to open. We cut it, and we're constantly the whole summer replanting because you don't want all your sunflowers to come in at once. Well, when I was introduced to this trial by Syngenta Cut Flowers, what really appealed to me as a grower was the availability of the Sunfinity. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar with that, they are going to be blooming, they're branching, and they're going to be blooming from 12 to 16 weeks, which is amazing. And lots, uh, not a lot of pollen on these. So that is what you want when you're a cut flower farmer. It's going to be a beautiful backdrop. I kind of want to show you guys the difference. A lot of people want to know how, you know, when you direct seed something uh, in stages, what happens, or if you do plugs. Well, when I wasn't able to get plugs for this trial, but Syngenta was kind enough to send me seeds. And I wanted to direct seed. I'm a big believer in direct seeding. But as we have told you guys earlier, we have a lot of pressure from crickets and grasshoppers. And they love sunflowers. So you'll have them come up and they just chomp, chomp, chomp. And you have a little stem left. But what you can see here is I did two different methods. I direct seeded and then about two weeks later, because they had probably eaten 30 of my plants, I went ahead and did it in trays. And we're going to kind of look down and this would be a direct seeded maybe April 20th. And you can see we're at one, two, three, almost four leaf nodes here. And then this is when I started maybe two weeks after that, the first of May. From, and I have transplanted it uh, from a cell pack, and we're only at the first leaf set. So not a huge amount of difference, but the good thing is this will stagger our blooms when they start coming in because you're going to get so many blooms. Now, one thing I think people forget a lot about with a branching sunflower is you need to pinch them. And we've had a lot of videos on pinching and the importance of that. And basically on this, if you didn't pinch, it's just going to get taller, 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 taller. But when you get around to the sixth leaf node, it's recommended you pinch. And then it's going to tell the plant to shoot up your beautiful blooms. So you definitely want to pinch to have more blooms and have a sturdier base. Because also you think about this, the taller you get. And our storms here um, typically come from the side from west to east here. And we, you know, it's, it, you don't really have a great windbreak here. You may have something fall over, even though we have these netted. So you want to go ahead and pinch. And you're, they're still probably going to be around four feet tall. But be sure to follow along. I can't wait to show you the progress of this seed. Like I said, I'm excited about a lot of plants that we are trialing for Syngenta. But this one, as a flower farmer who loves a beautiful summer backdrop, I can't wait to share with you the progress of this plant. So now the plants are large enough. And I'm going to demonstrate pinching. And if you remember when I was saying uh, a few weeks ago is that you want to get around six leaf nodes. And we're just going to come down. These are a few plants that I have not actually in our row of Sunfinity, but just in some uh, a little backdrop area that we're working on growing. And you can see they look really beautiful. And if you count up, you're getting easily the one, two, three, four, five. This is your six leaf, six leaf node. You can already see we're trying to send off what will eventually be sunflowers. So don't be worried. You're just going to come in. And what I do is just come right to the top. Some people will go a little bit lower uh, down to here, but I just pinch right at the top, just that first, what would be the first bloom. And this is going to tell the rest of the plant, it's gonna tell the plant, let's start sending up beautiful blooms. So here we are back on the row that we showed you about eight weeks ago. We're around July 1st today. And I want you guys to look at how gorgeous these Sunfinity sunflowers are. It's above my expectations. I actually can't keep up with all the blooms. We had an event last night and the girls cut and cut and cut to build bouquets and you can just see how gorgeous it is. Um, I, what I wanted to show is if you're nervous about the pinching, this is a sunflower here that I pinched earlier and we're gonna kind of zoom in and you can see that cut that I made at the sixth node. It's just right here and then all the beautiful branches that have come up from the side. So really beautiful. But like I said, above our expectations, we can't keep up with the blooms. 
um, I'm going to cut all these. One thing I found about these that I love is the perfect head size for a bouquet. I don't know if many of you have grown sunflowers and the head's really too large. We plant ours tightly, the single pro cuts, just so that we have a more manageable head. But these are perfect for bouquets. Um, typically, just a little tip, I'm going to show you where I would cut these because I think people get a little nervous about where I cut. I want to make sure it continues to grow. Like, let's say if we're in here and we're cutting, this would be way too short right here. Um, you know, that would be too small. Here's one that's open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut right above a leaf set. And it's going to send up, it'll send up another balloon. And then, for example, we'll do another one kind of back in here. I'm going to pull back. This one is branching. This stem is actually long enough for me. But I'm going to cut. Let me just cut this. See if you guys can see. Right above where this one's starting to branch. Because it's going to shoot up. So really, really beautiful. And just to give you an idea of how nice the size of the head is and the petal formation. I really like the petal formation as well. Now, typically I left, have this here, you know, it's a beautiful black backdrop, but if I was harvesting for bouquets, I would harvest more when we're just showing color, like this sunflower, as soon as it was showing color. And especially I tell uh, ladies when they're here at our workshops, what I say is when it's really about to give you a kiss, see how the petals are lifting out like this. I would go ahead and harvest and I put this in water and by the next day it's going to be open exactly like this. So beautiful, beautiful, but don't be afraid to pinch because you're going to be rewarded with all these beautiful blooms. But like I said, for me, I had always wanted to trial this variety, but I just, you know, didn't know how would I feel about branching. There's a little bit of pollen on here, but not a lot. To me, this beautiful black backdrop as you look through and I lean back is worth every amount of money that you would invest into this variety, but um, it's going to be churning out blooms, like I said earlier, 12 to 16 weeks, and how could you go wrong with that? We're cutting down on our labor time because we're not planting every week 75 sunflowers, and it's such a beautiful backdrop, and I want to thank uh, Syngenta for these wonderful uh, sunfinities, and this is definitely something we'll be growing every year, and I hope you guys will too. If you have any questions, just leave me a message, and I'd love to get back with you. I hope you guys are having a great growing season and that you're trying something new and having great success. But also remember, I tell everyone, one of the things you learn the most from is when you have a failure. And we have crop failures here, but those are always great learning experiences. So don't be afraid if you do have a failure to just try again, and you're going to learn something from it. But again, hope you're having a great growing season, and we'll be getting out a new video soon.